Tilly Cat Fourth. This is an open letter from Twitter user Ayuka's NCT Sexy because evidently Luke is not sexy was taken. And this is just going to be a few things that I wish I'd said to you when I met you because when I meet people I end up getting a little tongue tied and I can't really speak very well. So yeah, here's just a few things I wish I'd said. First, I told you this when we met and I told you it on Twitter on several occasions, but you're the reason that I've met so, so many of my friends, my best friend included. My best friend being Georgia Cross and I'll link all of their Twitters down below and then there's Michaela and Courtney and India and Bethany and so many more, like, without you I wouldn't have the friendship group online that I do and I'd still be that lone little internet freak that had no internet friends because they didn't know how to interact with people and that means so much to me, like, my friend Georgia, she has done so much to me, like I can never put it into words how much she means to me and Courtney, she means the world to me, so does everyone else that I said and I love them all so much and I met them because of your videos and your online presence and <laughs> I know it sounds odd but it's, it just means a lot to me so thank you for that. Georgia and I have been friends for over a year now and we stay at each other's houses a lot now and we hang out more even though we live, I live at one, well I live down by Plymouth, well in Plymouth so, and then she lives near London so it's a long way for me to travel and a long way for her to travel every time we want to meet each other but it's worth it I think, well no not really, she's an asshole, I hate her. <laughs> like. Another thing that you come to help me out with is my self-confidence because this time last year I was kind of, well not this time last year but before I started really watching you I was really kind of self-doubting and I just was not a very confident person and because of your presence online I've, and my friends that I've made because of that they've given me so much confidence and I feel pretty good about myself which leads me to my next point, the whole cupcake thing you did, it helped me out a lot in a lot of different ways and I'm not really going to go into that because a lot of people that I know IRL watch these and stuff that they don't really need to know and no one else really needs to know but all I want you to know is thank you for that because it's helped me out so much and a lot more often than probably should but it has anyway and that means more to me than most of the stuff that has happened because it's yeah it's just helped me out so much and thank you so much for that from the bottom of my heart. Because of this I donated most of what I own to the Drowning Wealth of Braxton. I had my friends in real life saying no don't do it don't give me like all, all that money to it or don't do this and I'm like I believe in you and your ability to create like this film is going to be amazing because like I your passion for film is kind of how I look at my passion for music I'm terrible at music though I just it means so much to me though which is kind of why I can understand your want to be able to create because to create is for me to have a purpose. I love creating, that's why I do YouTube, it's just a kind of way for me to create things and put it out into the world to somehow hopefully make a speck of difference to something even if it's not major. So to kind of summarise this open letter, I just want to say thank you again for being so great and when we met at Summer in the City I had split pink and purple hair and 
I look like a complete idiot in all our photos. My face looks terrible, but I don't care because like, also you give great hugs. Your hugs are amazing. Um, yeah. You were just one of the nicest people I met at Summer in the City and like, they always, people always say don't meet people that you look up to or aspire to be and I'm glad I met you because like, you're just great and that's about it. Um, I know this video seemed really kind of fangirly and maybe kind of putting pedestal thing into account but don't really care because it's just something that I felt I needed to do because I don't know I just felt like I needed to so thank you for everything you've done for me from the bottom of my heart I wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for the people that you've introduced me to and just the different things that you've done because it's I'm still pretty young but it's helped shape who I am at the moment and that means more to me than I can ever even fully understand myself. So thank you and I hope anyone that's watching has a wonderful day because damn you deserve it unless you're a terrible criminal in which case you probably don't deserve it. Yeah, I think I should probably shut up now. Thanks for watching. Bye.